Good morning. What? Where am I? I am uh, in the CVX Live. Oh, hey, look who it is. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you. And you too. There's like famous people everywhere. And uh, here's my bobblehead. I've seen it for the first time in real life. Like that's one of the dreams that I didn't know was one of my dreams that came true. <laughs> One day, I w if I would have known that was a possibility, I would have been like, I want a bobblehead on a bus, but I didn't know. So we got Kid History. Hello, guys. Hey. Um, yeah, I was supposed to do like a hair demonstration on the news this morning, but I didn't bring anything to do any hair. Like, I don't even have a comb in my purse, so I kind of just talked and like smiled. <laughs> you could have just braided my hair. So then I tried to braid hey, um, Brett's hair. But his hair wasn't long enough. Then I was gonna cut Buddha's hair. Then he didn't have any hair. So then we just gave up. <laughs> and you did awesome. Thank you. I wasn't vlogging when I, you were singing, though. I missed that. But she sang. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. That's like my favorite song right now. <laughs> He's got He's showing off for the Gardner sisters. <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> There's like an invisible steering wheel in the front of this, and if you use it, it's a lot easier. Yeah. You don't use the steering wheel. Oh, that's funny. Are you skateboarding, Daisy? Yeah. She's hard to do it. Baby, baby. That's how hard to do it. Let's go. Ender's turn. No. Wow, Ender. Oh, wait, is this a mermaid in the basement? Are you a real life mermaid? No. I think, I bet she is. No, I can see the tail. She's real. You want to be a mermaid? Yeah. Okay, let's be a mermaid. Oh, what is this? What is this? We got a mermaid. Merman. Two mermaids? Yeah. Ender, are you a real life mermaid? Yeah. Oh wow. Hey, that gold mermaid was so hell. There's boy mermaids too. They're called mermans. What the witch? <laughs> Get back here. Did you find the Halloween bin? Uh-huh. You gonna be a witch for Halloween? <laughs> yes. Wow, you're a good witch. I mean that in the best way. You guys, we got a lot of exciting things happening for CVX Live on our stage performance. It involves the mannequins, let's just say. I'm getting them set up and uh, I'm getting them dressed so they're not naked on stage, but yeah, hopefully you guys are coming to CVX because it's going to be awesome. That's all I will tell you. That's the hint you have is awesomeness. Awesome sauce, we'll say, but yes, I'm going to get some good use out of these guys. Oh, Ender wants to wear something. Ender, you want to be a bad guy? Yeah. Oh, oh, this skeleton? Which one? Bad guy. Bad guy? Okay, let's put yeah. it on. This one's still. Ah! <laughs> let's go scare Mama. Come here. Hold my hand. Go on. Yeah, it's so cool. You don't know. April. You got a visitor. Ah! <laughs> And here, let's go get Daisy. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh. Ender. Daddy. Ender. Daddy. Where's your pants? Oh no. Where's your pants? Oh no. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, the days when you could walk around the house without pants on and feel just fine about it. Right, Ender? Yeah. Under? Under? Underwear? Underwear? Huh? Yeah. Eating little chips and salt and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Ender, show me your smile. No. Show me your smile. Big Wow, good smile. Okay, guys, we are periscoping a little bit. We're gonna let people give themselves shout outs. Shout out, shout out. We love our Periscope peoples. Go, go, go. Hi guys, hey, what's up? Shout yourself out, shout yourselves out. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Hey vlog, oh, emojis. Indiana, what's up? 
Check out Bringing Up Burgess. What? What's up? Yes. What's up, Julia? Love the vlog. Your favorite subscriber. There you are, Courtney, our favorite subscriber. Okay, I got to take away this peanut butter. Shout out from Texas. Covington, shout out. And her smile. Ohio. Favorite blonde girl, Mandy. Go subscribe to Mandy. What's up? All right, I think that's it. Okay, Andrew, I gotta take away this peanut butter from you. You've got uh, enough. I'm gone for two minutes and you're playing in the peanut butter. Okay, lick it off. You gotta lick it off. Oh, mmm. That's so yummy. We gotta get you cleaned up, get you dressed up. You look like an orphan, Ender. Are you an orphan? <laughs> All right, you guys. We will watch as April gently applies the bulletproof protector. Maybe so mad at you if you made me mess this up. So we were buying the iPhones and they had some screen protectors in the AT&T store where there was a mom in there who was a mom of like she was on her 10th kid. kid and she's like, get the bulletproof case. We're like, yeah, yeah. I'll trust what the mom of 10 kids says. This screen, if you don't know, is literally bulletproof. You could shoot it with a gun. I don't believe that, honey. It is. Who says? On their website. So anyways, the lady in the AT&T store, she's like, she has kids in college and she was pregnant. So that's She said it. that her kid slammed it in a car door and it only broke the glass. It didn't break the phone. Well, like that was her crack. rule for her kids in college. She said, if you want an iPhone or a smartphone, you have to have a life proof case. You have to have a bulletproof screen cover on it. And that's the only way she's getting them phones, so. Mm -hmm. I approve of it. Thanks, lady with 10 kids. Yeah, thanks, lady with 10 kids. So the results are inconclusive as to whether that was actually good advice or not. Here's the problem. It's not waterproof anymore because the naked case. I even asked her in the store. Nude. I was like, "Easy." oh, the nude case. Nude. I even asked well, her you in the... you look really pretty. Thanks. I asked her in the store. I'm like, well... Since it's thicker, won't it like not be waterproof anymore? And she's like, oh no, it's fine. Well, I can like see, if I can see in that crack, then water can get in it. Like it's just stupid. <laughs> Everywhere else, actually down here, it's the same deal. Yeah, the little silicone seal doesn't hit it anymore because the other screen protector was only, was there different kinds? Like ones that were made for using it with a nude case? No, you should make kind. those. Because we don't need the protection up here on the camera. Like the, the little protector came up like this. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we are moments away from the camera. Oh, yeah, Tyler we need a vlog. We need show. a vlog. I will, I will. I'll film it. Well, like, just put it in there and then go out. Because <laughs> I don't want oh, you to I wanna hear it. be hovering. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll make me nervous. Okay, anyways. I was stuck in the rain for a long time today. And now my hair is all curly in spots. But look how pretty she looks today. So cool. She's rocking that dress, girlfriend. Oh, get in there. Right. It's 2.30 right now. Get in there. They're not calling, though. Oh, what they do. Um, so why don't you tell me, like, how you got started with cutting hair on YouTube, and where did that all start? <laughs> okay, so my husband's been a wedding videographer for, like, 12 years, and he's always been like, let's do a YouTube channel, and I was always, like, kind of scared to show everybody my work because I was like, ah, everyone's going to be mean, right? Yeah. But he finally convinced me and I decided that it didn't matter. This is how I do things. And I was like, I'll just put it up there. So we just started putting them up. And then I started getting all these emails from people being like, thank you so much. You helped me. And even like moms and just people getting out of hair school or maybe thinking about starting hair school. And then it like ended up being something really exciting and rewarding to me because I felt like I was helping people, mm -hmm. and so we just kept going with it. It's been almost three years now. Recurring, you know, if we did this again or cut somebody else's hair, we would want whoever we choose to be open to the possibility of coming back on the show, um, possibly doing some more videos for us, and maybe doing, you know, some more hair makeovers for us. Yeah, for sure. That sounds okay, way fun and exciting. What if they don't pick me? Who else could they pick? I don't know. That'd be so fun. 
But that sounds so fun. Ah, I'm like, I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? I'm actually shaking because I'm freezing cold. It's like 60 degrees outside. I like to use the cold weather. I like to open the windows when it's chilly outside. Yeah, I don't and mind it nice. either. But put some pants I on. I put some pants on. <laughs> My legs are cold. <laughs> That was really you fun. You did good, April. You did, did good. Did I? Yes. I felt like I might you have been like... You were like a rock star. Please pick me! Was I a little too desperate? No, you did. <laughs> okay. That sounds so fun, though. Don't you think? That does sound way fun. Like, just to be... I don't know. It's like something I would have never dreamed of. That's cool. They'll yeah. pick you. Who else are they going to pick? Come on. Well, she did say there's not very many people to pick from. I was like, pick me! Okay, this is something fun. I'm excited. So I went and got a mannequin head. Hello, my name is, I think this is Deborah. Deborah! And Deborah needs to get on here, but the problem is, is that Deborah has a double neck. Double neck Deborah. Ain't nobody like a girl with two necks. So we gotta get it to go down a little bit. I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about April's history with mannequin heads. Like, she used to like, <laughs> When I was dating her, she had one with her all the time. She went skating with it. Like it was like her bestie. I don't know. Don't where act it... like you didn't like it. <laughs> her name was Erica and she was gorgeous. I don't know where it ended up. If anybody knows where Erica this is, is, please not tell that us. Cute. Deborah. Deborah. She's not that cute. I Erica. Why do you say Deborah like that? Look at her. Ooh. There's a lot of Debras out there. Okay, but... anyway, Erica was gorgeous. She was more like this. <laughs> He's Chiseled gorgeous. Face. He wears makeup. I have a crush on this thing. <laughs> okay, we're good. He's so tall. And Anyways, good. we're going to take the Sawzall, which is a tool I like to use. He's and... taller than you, Davey. No, he's big. <laughs> Too tall. Still not telling you what we're using this for, but it will be at CVX. But okay, watch us cut the neck off of a mannequin. Off. This is normal. <laughs> Sorry if you wanted her to be dressed, and she's not. <laughs> well, this is a. It's long. This is a metal people. blade. Let me see if I have a mannequin blade. The mannequin blade. Mannequin wood, blade. wood, metal. We'll do. General purpose. There you go. That'll fit. Mannequin falls in general purpose, I'd say. What do you think? It's general. Wait, everyone stand back because I don't want anyone to get hurt. Somebody needs to hold it. You can't do everything. <laughs> Zaid, let Zaid film it. Here you film. I'm not breathing. Now let's see what's inside. <laughs> Nothing. And there you have it. That's how you cut off the neck of a mannequin. Yeah. Now she has no neck. <laughs> no, she's got a neck. So it's just a different color. No, it's too low. <laughs> she needs to be right there. Who wants pizza? Yeah. All right, so it was like five o'clock. We realized, oh crap, we didn't make dinner. So we can grab some pizza real quick. Oh yeah. You guys, I'm here with Randy Firmer. Furman. Furman. Ah, I messed it up. That's gonna be great one Thursday. I'm gonna mess up everyone's names. Randy Furman, and he is the owner, CEO of shark fin shears, right? That's right. He like invented all this stuff. Then he tells me he invented this cool thing I was even standing on like oh, a long time right? ago. Oh. And then someone yeah, stole his cool. patent and then like got credit for it. And well, we never patented it. Yeah. That's, oh, that's awesome. That's what it was. Yeah. But we felt millions of people. But he did some good in the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. We helped tens yes. of millions of people that are on their feet all day. That's yeah, awesome. That's awesome and I love my map. Thank so you. um so we're gonna film we just wanted to say hi on the vlog the yes channel. watch for it coming up on the yes. channel so we got the big camera out so we'll do that now okay tension well i never did the tension here let me see this okay yeah. i never fixed my tension <clears throat> i just need to do so that you did really it. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch and... okay i'm gonna get tested here by the okay. teacher <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> well, the kids survived up here with Zay yeah. watching over things and the TV and popcorn. And we got her done. We had to check on them a couple, three or four times, but yeah, I came up to check on them. Yeah, I knew they were safe. So the owner of Shark Fin Shirt, I love being around people that are passionate, like whatever it is, like he's so excited about everything he does. And you can tell like he really cares. That was cool being, um, being around him. He really cares about the people that are buying his shears. Like he's not just trying to make money. He's making a product that is something he can be proud of and that will live on like past his life. Like he's a really cool guy. I yeah, really like love his company. Everything he says on camera, but when we turn off the camera, he tells us all 10 other things that shows how much they care about their customers. So yeah, cool guy, that was fun. All right, we decided we needed to get these couch potatoes out, get a little fresh air. Such a nice day, it's so nice. And that dog likes it on the trampoline. <laughs> I've, I've come so by funny. here before and he likes it up Look, there. The video too, this is hilarious. It's always, he he's just hanging out. I don't know, I've never seen him jumping and enjoying it, but. So I truly believe that kids don't want to be couch potatoes, that if you encourage them to get outside and have some fun, it's easier. And sometimes you have to sit them in front of the TV like we had to tonight, but. <laughs> They want to get out and just be splashing through the mud. <laughs> that's that's what kids like to do, that kind of thing. So yeah. you guys want to have a mud, a mud fight? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna go on our walk, and but we're gonna put you guys to bed. We're gonna end the vlog now. Daddy, look. Daddy, look. I see the water. Thank you. Thank you, Ender. All right. Guys, five bucks to whoever takes a bath in that mud puddle. Do I it. Not no. It's, it's not even dirty. It yeah, only, do it. It only looks dirty. No, Amber, no, get out of the mud. Come on, we're going this way. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we're going on our walk. Where Thanks. Are you guys going? No, Zade, we're not going that way. It's too muddy. Yeah, look at your feet. Anyways, we're going on our walk. We are gonna thank you guys for watching the vlog today. Busy week this week. Thanks for coming along oh, the crazy ride that we call life. Today was a stressful day, <laughs> but it's always never as stressful doing it as you think it's going to be. Right. It's always, it? Things are scarier in your mind than they are when you really do them. Except for this morning on live TV. That was not scary in my mind and terrifying when I was doing it. <laughs> well, she had big Buddha all up in her face. Be like, what? He was like, what are you going to demonstrate? I was like, Nothing. Nobody told me to demonstrate anything. <laughs> it's really she awkward. should have had my mug there to cut my hair or something. But. Yeah, somebody didn't get communication through somehow, but I'm not blaming anyone. It just it is what it is. It was fun. So that's it. Thanks for watching the vlog. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. That was weird. I said bye bye. <laughs>